Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message. Yes, I'm batch filming. I'm still in the same outfit. Maybe when I'm getting ready to do the December one, I'll put some trees up or something. Yeah, let's do that. I just got to share with y'all. You know what I did? This has nothing to do with anything. I just want to tell you. Um, I took a candle that has like kind of like a coconut scent to it and I put some cinnamon sticks in it and chamomile. And what else did I have in there? Oh, cloves. It's amazing. That's it. That's all I wanted to tell you. It's just amazing. I'm just, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Not really, but you know, let's get on to the message. So if you would like a personal reading with me, do not wait. Get on over there online, angelsouls444.com. We will definitely help you with that deep spiritual growth, the angelic messaging, very different frequency. You come in, you're not only going to feel love, but you're going to feel like you've gotten all the discoveries and tools to kind of crack open what you've been numb to or cracked open to old patterns so that you have a way forward, so that you know what to do when you walk away from hearing that message. Hopefully you'll be at peace. Some people, if they're in their ego too much, it rattles the ego and they're, you know, uncomfortable with it. But if you can hear the message, you'll be on your path. So there's that. Uh, and then of course I always have a lot of lives coming up. Check the description box. I have so many coming up. It would take too long to sit here and list all of them out. So <laughs> let's get to, ah, our cards. We have moon cycles. Okay. And we have relationship harmony there's been a big theme of that over the past couple of weeks you know what to do and clear audience so that's Zodkiel and that was Uriel and Raguel on the other cards let's grab one from here when I'm, I'm sorry to be looking down I can't follow the YouTube rules when we're doing card readings I got it <laughs> what was that I got to look at the cards. It's okay. We're going to be okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's normal-ish. All right. It's like um, harmonizing the relationship with ourselves. And Caressa, the end of a cycle. Let's get at it. Let's pick them up. Get them in order. Okay. Moon cycles. We're emotional. Okay. We are... <laughs> People are nuts, too. Uh, Archangel Haniel, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. So releasing on a full moon, manifesting on a new moon. But again, when this comes up, Haniel is all about helping you balance. Yes. And to look at things that are uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> to be able to let them go. But this is kind of, it does have a feeling of being a little bit spacey. Kind of just, um, doesn't have a bad feeling. It's not terrible. Obviously, everybody's situation is going to be different. This, yeah, I'm hearing honesty. There's a lot of honesty that comes with this. Now, if you guys come to my channel, you know I'm a very humanitarian, human rights, and I'm real feisty about patriarchy. Okay, and um, I, I do see this in all seriousness. I see this pattern that I think is really wonderful where people are waking up to how you know, some of these cycles and some of these um, ways of being need to end. And that's not so like, you know, the matriarchy could come out and start acting like the patriarchy. That's not the gig. <laughs> That's not, no, then we messed it up. Okay, <laughs> we're supposed to be balanced and harmonizing. And I'll tell you what, there's nothing more beautiful than when I see um, a man, okay, um, who is carrying a lot of masculine energy, but he knows what real masculinity is. And, you know, that would be the guy who's an amazing husband. He's a great father. He's great in his community. He's not a cheater. He's not um, looking down if he's, you know, obviously a heterosexual uh, looking down on his woman, right? Um, or looking down on his partner in any way. You see what I'm saying? That is this kind of thing, this Haniel energy. 
So she's all about the divine feminine. So bringing that in to kind of harmonize and balance between the dualities. Okay. So this duality consciousness, some of us are going to be splitting apart even further before we can start working it out and coming together. So what does that mean? This means emotional. This is relationship harmony that I'm holding up here. This is Archangel Raguel, who's all about getting along with others. Okay. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. These two go together so much. Okay. It's sort of this emotional, like, don't talk to me like that. Well, I didn't mean anything, but I don't care what you think you meant. When you talk to me like that, when there's this awful thing going around, I think it was on TikTok, where there's a guy who is, um, I don't even know what he's doing. He's making food and he's got this like scoldy daddy tone. And I'm presuming this is his wife. He's talking to me. He said, I asked you to do this while I was out playing golf. You guys seen this? Comment down below if you have. Um... And now I guess I got to do it myself. He was out playing golf, right? And he expected while he was out having fun playing golf that she should be home cooking this thing that only he eats. I guess he was watching a game or something. I don't know. <sighs> Waking up to stuff like that. The fact that that person was even, whoever's behind the camera, they were recording that. Shows that they recognized it and it needed to be seen. That kind of stuff, we need to crack that open. That's what this is talking about here. Okay. Did I read this already? Yeah, I did. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved right now. So be ready for, um, as we, and it's not, I just gave an example with like, you know, like a married couple or something like that, but a uh, heterosexual married couple. But um, this could be with friends. You know, maybe you're really around toxic people and you're like, Okay, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to harmonize the relationship within myself by uh, detaching from that. Um, and then this, you know what to do. Look at this story that's unfolding. It's really fascinating. Archangel Uriel, uh, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So this doesn't mean get out there and fight and, you know, whatever. And in some cases, it won't even work to communicate. The guy who thought... His wife should be doing the cooking at home while he's out golfing. And he even said, I come home and you're just sitting on the couch. Why can't she sit on the couch? Who are you? Who are you? You the boss? <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway, <laughs> just assuming that everyone should cater to him while he's off having a good time. Like, whatever the case is there. You know what to, you can recognize that. You know what to do. And in that case, I was, this is where I was going with that. In that particular case, it wouldn't have done anything for the person behind the camera to try to have a conversation with that guy. Because he thinks he's right. Like, there's no getting, like, you just don't understand me. Oblivious. Oblivious. And all that that person could do was record it and let other people see it. And honestly, for people like that guy, from the little bit I saw... Um, I've known people like that. And the only thing that works is when a whole bunch of people call them out. And then they're not changing their ways because they want to and because they care. It's because of how they look. So in every situation, we always have to put the caveat in there. Obviously, if you're in a dangerous situation, get with proper people who are trained to help you get out of that. I am not that person, okay? Okay. Right? So making sure, like, I don't know if it's like psychologists or something like that who can help you get out of that situation. But in other ways, you know what to do. If you're seeing something that is like, no, I'm not a big wimp if I recognize this as abusive. One of the bravest things any of us who have been abused can do is speak up about the abuse. And yet, when we use the word abuse, people roll their eyes and go, oh my God, you're such a victim. Oh my God, you know, get over it. Oh my God. It's a silencing mechanism, okay? So we have Claire Audience, Archangel Zedkiel, who's all about transmutation. So going from this state of, I'm trying to talk to you. Why aren't you talking? Why to, you get no more of my energy. And meaning it, not just going, you know what? I don't even care about you. Okay, I'm out. Wait, can we work it out? 
think the notebook. Okay, that fight scene. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so that was. Uh, um, <laughs> but really, genuinely, in your heart, in your energy field, you are shutting it down, and that person is still gonna try to do whatever. Okay, but listen to your own instincts. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Okay, so tap into that. You know what to do. Trust your instincts when your instincts are trying to tell you next steps or your what I'm feeling is like you might be hearing someone gaslight you, for example, and you might be tempted to start arguing with them and be like, that's that's not what are you doing? Twisting it around. That's not what happened. Right. And now they're getting obviously more of your energy. And then you might hear in your head. Get out of this situation or don't trust what this person's saying. That's another one. Right. If you're talking to somebody who's like, oh, baby, I love you. It still drives me nuts how many people fall for that. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. Somebody comes in and is like, oh, I love you. And they're love bombing you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, uh, who am I? I'm not an expert in that field. Check with an expert. All right. Caressa, you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. So this is really, um, on one level, this is about people breaking this misogyny cycle, um, stopping a hate cycle, right? And, and maybe making different choices for yourself to protect yourself. Um, and then it has this broader implication when we're talking about social ills and we're talking about things that we have just allowed to go on for way too long. Pick something. You know, I incarnated as a woman. I don't expect a man to fully know what it is to be in this body, right? Because they don't have that experience. But if they're willing to listen, I'm willing to share. And I'm not going down the road of like educate because that, you know, that gets exhausting and it's not up to everybody to educate one another. And um, out of certain people that can get pretty pretentious. But um, the sharing, the communing, what's it like for you? Okay. And, and, and listening to each other, giving each other space to say what they got to say and what I always say, holding presence for someone else's experiences and listening with that open heart. Okay. So I think that's kind of what this whole message is talking about. We're breaking all of this open. It's going to be messy. You're going to say the wrong thing. You're going to be afraid to speak up. Um, you know, there are plenty of people who think like they, they've sort of set themselves in a category of victimhood and think that they can get away with anything. Uh, uh we're learning to not let people get away with that you know uh let's take women let's say there's a woman who just goes i'm a woman so you know you can't say nothing to me and you you got to do whatever i say and maybe that woman thinks that she's in so much she starts letting the power go to her head and so now she's abusive to her male partner right like that's so there's a lot of surface level stuff going on yes we need to look at that we can't over you know just overlook it and pretend like it's not there but it's a deeper spiritual implication. That's really what's going on here. Remember what I said? I said it like last week or something like that. Some people have the light on. Some people turned it off. Just because the light is off doesn't mean that it's bad, right? Um, but they are going to be stumbling around in the dark, <laughs> right? So just keep that in mind. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.